Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is Ask Master. Today we're going to check out Permalinks Manager Pro, which is a permalink editor. Now you're going to be saying, what is a permalink? Well, if we head on over to this site right here, you're going to see that we have the main domain that says sasm.co, but then it finishes off that says deals. Well, this is the permalink. Sometimes permalinks can get really complex with the date, the time, the category, the tag, and it kind of add up a lot and it doesn't look so professional. Well, you can edit it with Permalinks Manager Pro. You can do a whole lot more, but we'll see that in a bit. I just want to show you really quick what the deal is, and you can check out the link in the description. Now, you can see the yearly price is 45 euros for one domain, and if you want unlimited domains, it's 135 euros. This is the yearly price. But if you want to buy it for a lifetime, it's 95 euros for a single domain and 350 euros for unlimited domains. That means unlimited, lifetime, you don't pay anything more, and you have it forever. All right, guys. So let's head on over here to my WordPress site. And the first thing we're going to do is head on over to our WordPress dashboard. And here on the left, we have to install the plugin in Plugins, Add New, install and put the license we're not going to go through that there's no point on it now the basic settings on permalinks will be here so settings permalinks these are the settings that we have by default from wordpress this is all we could do with permalinks on wordpress so we can either choose one of these like the plane and it's like p1 to 3 4 5 and so on and so forth data name monthly and name numeric post name and custom structure this is what we could do and it stops there right but if we want to go a little bit more in depth and further with that, we are going to use Permalinks Manager Pro. And we can find that in the Tools and Permalinks Manager. Now this is where the fun starts. We can edit more and the good part about this is that if we edit that permalink, the link will, will, will keep working. And I'm going to show you that right now. So I'm going to go to Posts and I got a post right here, right? So basically the permalink right now, the link is this one right here which looks really nasty. You got the, the year, the date, the month, and this whole thing, right? That's the permalink. All this is a permalink, all right? And we wanna change that, all right? So let's just say that's right now. So we're gonna remove all of this. Let's remove all that. Now we wanna keep it just with the title. And I can even modify this if I want. I could just change this also. I'll keep that and I'll say all the earls below. So I'm gonna save this. And now it's changed. I'm going to click on this one. And now look how good this looks. So it's, it's better for SEO. It looks better. And you can see that the old link works also. Remember this link? Or we're going to refresh it right now. Let's refresh. And it automatically took me to the new permalink. So why is this so important? Let's just say I already have a whole bunch of links here on my WordPress site that I've saved on on facebook twitter on other pages i even use a, a earl shortener and imagine if the links stop working because i changed it well that's not going to happen with permalinks manager pro because they automatically redirect to the new one now it doesn't stop there you can edit a whole lot more we can do pages also we can do media we can do categories formats tags for example in tags we can change these also so for example, this is how the text will look. We could change that. We can do also the WooCommerce products. We have a product right here. We can change it here. We can do change the product categories. So if I want to change this category, we can do that also. Let's just say we don't want it to say product category, right? We don't want that. We just want it to say deals, right? That looks much better. And uncategorized. Well, I don't actually use that, but let's just save that. So automatically, it's going to be saved. Now, heads up. It's going to be saved after this, but what happens if I want to do it for my old links, right? I've been using this site for like eight months, and you know what? I have a whole bunch of links, old links that I'm using, but I want to fix them. So I head over to Tools right here, and I'm going to go to gen Generate, Regenerate, and Reset. So in this place, I can save what I've, what I've done, and I'll do Generate, Regenerate, and it's going to fix all the links from the past also. So that's a pretty cool tool, right? All right, so what else do we have? We can head on over to, let's head over to tools, right? Tools, we got find and replace. So if we wanna look for a specific tag or certain word that we, we've been using, we can change it. Let's just say, you know what, I changed my branding a bit and I stopped using this or I wanna add something, we can do it right here. We can replace it and you can do it by mode. 
you got select content type, so just post types or taxonomies. Select post type, select post static, select ID, etc., etc. We got stop words and custom permalinks. We got perma structures. If you want to change this, these are the structures that are already created. We can change the structure for all of them also. Now, something that I'm not using, but it's possible. Let's just say I have a translator plugin like WPML. If I have that, I can also change the permalinks for that also. So I can make them in English, Spanish, Asian, or whatever type of language that I want. And for example, if in English it's store and in Spanish the tag is tienda, well, I can change it for both and they both will work. So that's a pretty cool tool. Head on over to settings. Here in settings, you're gonna little, get a little bit more advanced. And you can see, you can edit like auto update permalinks, auto automatically remove broken URLs, use actual post term titles, SEO functions and redirects. So canonical redirect, we have this available and we have it active. Redirect old permalinks, that's the important tool I told you about that it's gonna fix. If they use the old URL, it's still gonna work and it's gonna take you to the brand new URL. And you got a whole bunch of other tools also. Now, what happens if I'm creating a brand new post or it's a post I already created and I want to go straight to that one? I don't want to do it here in the URL editor. Well, I'm just going to head on over to this post. Let's get all the posts. And I'll select this one right here and I'll edit. And here, let's wait for it to load. In the right side, on the right side, we're going to see the permalinks manager. So I'm going to close it and I'm going to open it, right? This is a permalinks manager. And you're going to see that we have the option right here to edit the URL. So we can also remove that if we want. Sorry, remove that. Do we want to use global settings? Yes or no. If I hit yes, it's going to disable it. And I'm going to have to edit it over here. In this case, I'm going to say no. And I'm going to keep it there. Now, something I like about this is that we can manage redirects. So we can add new redirects to the same link. Now this could help with SEO. And what is this about? Well, right now we can add a brand new redirect. So right now the, this is right here, page or by WordPress. I'm gonna save that, I'm gonna put it over here. And I'm gonna say that this is something interesting. This is called, so it's by right here, right? This is just an example. So this is by right here. So I'm gonna add it on this permalink. And I'm pretty sure that should help out with SEO because it's gonna be actually in the link. I'm gonna add another one and I'm just gonna say user role. I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter and I can add more and more. I can do it in Spanish and other languages if I want. And I can save those and they all will work. So I can use those links to actually direct them to this page that's already created. So I can edit my permalinks here or in the options on the main options over here in tools and permalinks manager. So it's pretty flexible. Oh, sorry, click that. It's it's a flexible permalinks editor. It's way better than what's built into WordPress because it's more advanced, it's more flexible, and you can do a whole lot more with it. Now, I hope you guys like permalinks. If you like this video, the link will be in the description. The link is an affiliate link. It won't cost you a single cent more to buy it from my link. It just helps me out to make this video for you guys. Well, my name is George. This is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.